to yes, work out. Rest that is necessary. I didn't so get to make it this morning. I was very tired. Honestly, I was really tired this morning. So I didn't get to make it to work out 6 a.m. But I'm headed to a 4 p.m. workout. Y'all, so we thought we had our Christmas tree from, was that last year? Yeah. Last year. We thought we had our Christmas tree from, yeah, it was last year. We thought we had our Christmas tree from last year. Come to find out, we did not have it. We threw it away, which I'm still shocked, but it wasn't there. So we are heading to Target to get our Christmas tree so we can decorate our Christmas tree. I'm so excited. I love decorating Christmas trees. I love just having our home look. Now you know you cannot park right now. So we're gonna do Christmas tree shopping and decoration. We gotta figure out, we haven't figured out a color. What color are we gonna do this year? Our apartment is way bigger, so we're able to. Oh, baby, they just gonna have to be mad because I'm thinking anything. Okay. We have more space so we can actually do more decoration and have a bigger tree in our space. But we haven't decided what color we're going to decorate our Christmas tree. That needs to be addressed. Oh snap. What am I doing? My phone is somewhere. Oh, you leave your phone over there. Huh? Leave your phone over there. I don't think so. No, because I was just on it, right? That was just on my phone. And then we have date night later tonight. We are going to, it's so cold. Where are we going to? Third spot. Third spot. The third spot. We haven't been there yet. Heard mixed reviews about it. So hopefully it's the good mixed reviews. Do, Other doors, right? That's out. Did we do, have we done brown and gold before? Nope. You want to do brown and gold? Yep. Brown, gold, black, brown, gold, black, brown, gold, black, yeah. green, yeah. green, gold, brown, green, brown, gold. I think I might do that. Green, brown, gold. This idea is, this is the visual for the Christmas tree. Green, brown, gold. Okay. Say it again. Say it louder for the people in the back who can't hear you. I love my wife. As you should. I love my husband. He's nah, the best. Nah, say it louder. I love my husband. Oh, this is cute. This is cute. I feel like, oh, these are the short versions of the one of the ones I have. Remember I had bought this one? Yeah. Oh, they probably got in the stock. Those are short versions. Oh, they have the long one? Yeah, I have the long one. Those are the short ones. I haven't done a Target thing. I know why. Wow. Yeah. That's the food right there. Oh. I'm just looking at the jacket. I would wear this as a woman. That's actually nice. Dude, where are you going to Oh. They want, they want this. I don't know why. They want the peppermint one. Peppermint? Ew. I don't know why I've been craving for this. Can't beat that. Yeah, you can. Get something else. <laughs> oh, why are we, we not coming down this aisle? 
gonna try to trick me. Ghost land. Hmm, maybe we ask somebody. I was about to say, I know this ain't no sixty dollars, fifty dollars, but it's that. I think we probably have to ask my love where the trees are. Gonna pick stockings. Pick your stockings. Now I'll pick mine. We're gonna do. That was nice. We little stitch. Oh wait, this so thin though. We have a Harry Potter one, but it's thin. I want something thicker. This stitch one's cute. Which one are you gonna do? Okay, should I just go with one with my initial two? Nah, you don't want to. Oh, should I change it up and get a... No, baby, you can do what you want to do. That'd be cute, though. It'd be unison. Do they have A's? Uh, There's no more A's. Can't be that many A's in the world. You think? So we got some stocking. They don't have an A or an N, so M for our last name. Want to be cohesive. Want everything to look. Thank you. I got my ice chai, my favorite drink with oat milk. He got these nasty peppermint things. I don't see how people don't like peppermint. Nothing. Chick-fil-A got the new peppermint shake. Mm -mm. Bussin. Oat milk and chai. And I was gonna get it hot, but I'm like, I don't. It's weird. I don't really like hot drinks in the cold. Yeah, that is weird. So I don't wanna hear none about you wanting hot chocolate. I said I don't really like I'll drink it, doesn't mean I don't drink it. But just to be like, I want a hot drink. You heard that, chat? Mm -hmm. Chat, you heard that? Chat. No hot chocolate, chat. No, because we got hot chocolate at home, and I'm probably going to have some tonight. <laughs> For sure. Well, Ashland's uh, viewers, my wife's viewers, unfortunately, I can't drink nothing hot or cold. As I am recovering still with my wisdom teeth operation. I got four huge holes in my mouth. So when hot or cold stuff, liquids. You just had a smoothie. That wasn't too cold. You got a lot of stuff right there. That girl got on Rick Owen shoes. I wanted to say to her. You know you wearing devil worshiper shoes. <laughs> Your viewers might not be ready for that conversation, babe. I don't they know. Probably not. I was watching a documentary. But it is true that I know, cause y'all know how I be just getting on here and a little booger might be. <laughs> but yeah, we was watching. Is it good? You want one? No, thank you. One thing you won't never have to worry about me asking for peppermint chocolate. But we was watching a video on what was it again? That lady that's the Rick Owens' girlfriend, the old lady that's Rick Owens' girlfriend, who apparently is a witch. Well, she probably is a witch, but 
I was watching a video on her. People just go through a lot. Speaking of which, that's so crazy because that little store over there I used to go to when the, back in my day when I was <sighs> before the Lord really took me under his wings. I used to go over there and that store got like all types of books and rocks and crystals and all that type of stuff. Phoenix and Dragon. Oh, you drag you this person. Come on now, bro. But the Lord took me under his wings and he saved my life. Absolutely. God is good. God is absolutely good. All the time. And his grace is good. sufficient. His grace is God is good all the time. And all the time. God is good. God is good. You was trying to leave me hanging. God is good. But how many people thank God for his sovereignty? Drops mic. How many you people? You heard that from somewhere. How many Who people? Who was watching and they said that? Who was watching no, something that's and said all that? me. That's all me. That ain't. What's that, sovereignty? That, what is God's sovereignty? Sovereignty means fairness. Sovereignty, sovereignty means... Mm -hmm. God is not gonna give you your way. God is not gonna give you all the time what you want. And sometimes it is what it is, and He's gonna do these things because you need to go through these things. Okay, preach. Come on, come on. So give how many people. how many people are mm -hmm. thankful for the sovereignty? Mm -hmm. For the Me. sovereignty of God, meaning a lot of situations God is gonna put you through, and you're gonna hate those situations, but the ultimate outcome of the situation is to grow and learn the lesson okay. that God's trying to teach you. Okay. I want a car, God. Please bless me with a new car. All right. You're going to need to work two straight months without no days off, sacrificing sleep, nothing, just to have enough money for him to bless you with a new car r randomly by maybe some stranger or something. Eh? You know, that's a good analogy because people don't think about it that way. People always want to be like, oh, God, they think of God blessings as a form of just random. Just random. Nowhere and Somebody going to drop a car off in your front yard and you going to boom. I'm good. Yeah, keep going straight. Yeah. Somebody going to drop a car off in your front yard and a mir miracle that your car is going to be placed in. It's not always like that. Just like he said, sometimes God will be like, okay, cool. Got you. You have to work hard for this. But when you think of it like that and God takes you through his sovereignty, it's like you develop a care it's it's like you develop character. You develop things in you that you never thought you you know, you would have asked for. God, you ask him for something, but God is going to take you through something so that you can get not only your blessing, but something else to develop you to be a better person so you can be able to steward that blessing. Because a lot of times we get blessings and we don't know how to steward them. What the steward means, yeah. What does steward means? What does it mean to steward your blessing? Like plant, like a planter, farmer. No. No. That's... Stewarding is like someone that takes good care of the things that they have. They have. So being intentional about what you have. So like being a good steward over your finances. What does that mean? If God blesses me with money, I need to learn how to manage my finances, save my finances, and invest my finances, and give back to God and tithe. That's like stewarding. Like you. You are being a student almost or a learner of what it is that you're receiving so a lot of times when, we, when, when people say I want a blessing it's like we don't store our blessings which means that you don't take good care of what God has given you don't do right with it a lot of times people wonder why they're not getting blessed past the one blessing that they have because you didn't do right with what God gave you you mistreating it you're lying to it. You're dogging it out. You're destroying it. You're making it dirty. Uh huh. Yeah, those things. And part of and these peppermints are really good. <laughs> and part of sovereignty is a lot of people that job think or in your mind say why are they getting this why are they getting that like they're a bad person they do this why they have the money and everything 
that's part of sovereignty. Sometimes those people are going to get those things, and that that's God's plan. And also, what people don't realize is that um, Myron. I, no, I can't. Hold up, baby. Hold up, baby. My last. And that's that's God telling you, take out that hate, that jealousy from your heart. Asking why these bad people have this money or whatever. God said, remove that jealousy and envy from you. Shouldn't even be thinking about that. Yeah. But go ahead, babe. Um, what I was gonna say was that. What was I gonna say? You said Myron. Oh, the Myron Golden guy that I be watching. He made a video saying how people who don't worship God or who don't believe in God. They're not exempt from being rich. So you might see people who you think are bad and out in the world getting rich. And what people don't realize is that the same principles that we are supposed to apply to our lives to be blessed, to be rich, to be um, prosperous. It's not a, it's not only like a it's not only principles that we Oh, how can I say it? They're not only for Christians. They're not only for believers. A principle is a principle. It can be used either way and what a lot of people don't realize is that people in the world rich people who you think are evil and stuff they apply those same principles to their lives which is why they are rich too principles that god gave us was for everybody like just because you know they're not a christian doesn't mean that they're exempt from being rich but the enemy the devil blesses people too you know what i'm saying because the, the devil tried to um trick god and at, like he was gonna bless him when he had him in that wilderness and he was telling the Lord when he was telling Jesus, Jesus Jesus thank you the devil tried to trick Jesus you know and say hey I can give you this you can have this like so you had to think the devil can give blessings too there are principles that people apply within the world that makes them rich and all this stuff so the point is is that when you follow Jesus when you follow God and you believe in God and you have understanding of biblical principles and have a relationship with the Holy Spirit with you know our Lord and Christ then you have a how can I say it? you're gonna go to heaven basically you're gonna live a righteous life you're still gonna go through things but to me it's always about the end goal like the aftermath the afterlife where are you gonna go so that's also something important to think about. Being a steward. God's sovereignty and being a steward over the things in your life. Yes, that was great, I think. Um, Pastor Miras, 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 Miras. In Arabic, which means a gift from God. Fact check me. Fact check me. I'm telling y'all the truth. In Arabic, miras means a gift from God. Say it again. Miras. 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 Y'all know how I know that? I went to a little gas station and there was an Arab in there. And they said, You Arab? I said, Nah, I'm not. He said, Your last name. Your last name is Arabic. I said, For real? Yeah, get from God. I said, I am. <laughs> and I left. You said, you, did you really say I am? No, nah, I didn't say that I am part. But that was my mind. I was thinking that. Dude, but like, what's your last name? Maras. <laughs> yeah, that's what they said. <laughs> Maras. Because nobody's going to really understand. I feel like nobody's going to really say it right. So I'd be like, my marriage last name is Maras. Miras, Miras, Miras. Do I'm like Miras, Miras, Mias? <laughs> Did somebody ever say that to you? What? Mias. Nah, dudes be saying more. more uh, bad, like. Because um, <clears throat> my maiden last name, people be like, oh, people still think my last name is Prussia. I'm just like, no. But they used to be like, appreciate you. Appreciate you. Okay, so we made it Home Depot. 
Park City Home Depot has Christmas trees. Ooh. Hopefully they have Christmas trees. Let's see, let's see. $299. Two ninety nine. Two forty nine. <gasps> Boy, play. We thought. We thought. We thought. Mm hmm. What about this one? We tried. They don't even fit in the apartment. Oh. Man, Something smell like onions. Okay, let's pick a reef. Let me do that one. Is that better? Which one do you want? You want this one? Yeah. You know how to stick these? No, you just put it on a door. Hook it, put it on a hook. And put it on a door. It's date night. I'm about to get ready to do my makeup. I'm just gonna do something light. I've been actually wearing a light, I mean, I guess I can call it foundation. No Williams skin tint. I absolutely love the skin tint. I've just been, I have so many foundations. Like I've been using NARS. I love NARS, don't get me wrong. I love Lancome, don't get me wrong. And I love Estee Lauder, don't get me wrong, but oh and i also left in the Myrick. <laughs> but i've just been trying to figure out what works for me that feels lightweight and honestly i went in for a skin tint because i was going to get an anastasia beverly skin tint but the oh, excuse me oh he tired but the skin tint and it was like if you're looking for a skin tint when beauty by serena williams is actually good so i was like okay i never heard of it so i was open to trying it i actually wanted something that was more of a creamy texture kind of like the denissa myricks because this is great as you can see child was using this for y'all the when beauty and for the winter, I was trying to find my winter tone, which gives it a more olive look because my skin is olive, so I'm going to put it right here. Like, look at that. I don't know if it looks the same to you all, but okay, there it goes. This, that just gives like a weird tint.
Thank you. This is a, a mocktail. It smells like great. You know what's my favorite? My favorite drink? What's your favorite drink? Pina Colada. <laughs> Virgin. <laughs> Okay, back to the game.